Developmental Dysplasia of the HIP Standards of Care KFSH and RCDDH Treatment Guidelines Developmental Dysplasia of the HIP DDH does not have international agreed upon and evidence-based standards of care 1. Every surgeon and institution is adopting his standards according to their experience and widely published K-series level 4 evidence. In order to standardize the care for patients with DDH, the Pediatric Orthopedic Department in King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center KFSHNRC adopted some guidelines to address this national congenital developmental problem. DDH management from birth to three months, following the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons AAOS recommendations too. KFSHNRC DDH care can be summarized as the following, the newborn infants with positive family history of DDH or have a history of breech delivery position, should be considered as a high risk group. Newborns with risk factor must be referred to orthopedic surgeon, to examine the hips within two to six weeks, and also to have the United States of the hips within the same time frame. If the newborn has evidence of clinical instability, or positive the United States findings Alpha Angel is less than 60 dig, and Beta Angle is more than 55 dig, he should be started on the conservative treatment in the form of Pavlik harness or abduction bracing. This treatment should be continued till the hip is stabilized roughly till the age of 4 to 5 months. In case that the hip was found in the dislocated position, a trial of therapy with Pavlik harness or abduction brace should be started. But if it failed to reduce the hip within three weeks, the conservative treatment should be stopped immediately and labeled as failed. In cases that the child presented older than three months, and the dysplasia is mild or the hip is not completely dislocated, abduction bracing should be tried for three months. DDH management from six months to one year, the dislocated DDH missed to be diagnosed or failed the conservative treatment will be treated by closed reduction under general anesthesia under the arthrogram guidance and spica casti mobilization. Examination under anesthesia should obtain the reduction with a wide safe zone. The hip can be positioned in the spica casta 90 to 100 dig of flexion and no more than 60 dig of abduction to prevent the disastrous avascular necrosis. The arthrogram should show no medial dive pulling or inverted labrum. If the adductor muscles were tight during this examination, adductor tenotomy can be done. DDH management after one year, generally speaking, DDH treatment above one year of age is surgical with some exceptions. The surgical treatment of DDH in KFSHNRC was published in Literature 3 and it constitutes of adductor tenotomy, hip open reduction, Pelvic osteotomy diga type with allograft interposition femoral osteotomy shortening derotation varies the treatment will be tailored to treat every case individually according to the age and severity of DDH. As other major surgeries done for children, the child going for DDH surgery should be optimized in terms of general health and local skin integrity no diaper rash. One unit of blood should be available the night before surgery in case the child needed it during surgery very rarely. The best anesthesia done for these kids is a combination of general anesthesia and a caudal block. The surgery will take from 90-180 minutes with expected bleeding ranging from 30-150 cc. The child will come out from the surgery with spica cast covering his operated side and lower abdomen. The hospital stay after surgery will range from 1 to 2 days during which the routine post-operative care including post-operative x-rays and pain control will be provided, and the caregiver will be educated thoroughly to look after the child in spica cast to prevent complications. After that the child will be discharged home to be seen in the clinic in six weeks' time to review the hip x-rays, remove the spica cast, and apply broomstick cast, which will stay for another six weeks. After that the cast will be removed and the child will return to his normal activity gradually over time, and should be encouraged to walk. The hip range of motion will be restored in average of 2 to 6 months. The need for physiotherapy should be individualized and prescribed to kids not progressing well in their recovery. The child after DDH should be followed for at least 4 years after surgery, to assure that no AVN has happened.
In this case the child can be discharged safely otherwise surgical treatment might be needed to address this problem.